Let's now look at the third technique for the live variable analysis. Basically, programs written for 8 and 16 bit architectures often make extensive use of global and static variables rather than local variables. This was done for performance reasons because such architectures typically provide a very limited number of registers. Unfortunately, when such code is executed on today's register rich architectures, it may substantially decrease performance by forcing the processor to access memory every time it reads or updates a variable which is in the memory. One solution is to rewrite such code while porting to 32 bit processors, but most developers would prefer not to modify already working code, especially if the original programmer is no longer available. A better alternative is using the compiler to solve this problem. Live variable analysis enables the compiler to determine which variables should be placed in registers. Although frequently used by compilers with local variables, performing such analysis for static and global variables is much more difficult. In particular, it is essential for the compiler to have sophisticated alias analysis. Alias analysis determines which variables are currently referenced by pointers as illustrated by the following code, the code segment shown here. In the code segment, the static variables are x, y, and z. There is a pointer variable, which is a local variable, which is an alias for the global or static variable x. And then instead of using x, only the alias is used in the computation sequence here. You can see that z, which is a static variable, is frequently accessed. Okay, and so let's see what live variable analysis and alias analysis will result in when your compiler uh, is uh, optimizing it. So first thing is that the, the, it introduces a, a temporary register variable. This is not ex exactly a C code handwritten C code. This is the logic that the compiler will generate in the assembly code. So there is a register variable, which is a temporary store where the static variable is uh, copied and that copy is used in the computations rather than accessing the variable Y, which is in memory every time. So once it is coming to the register, that register alone will be used. In order to update the value of Z, so there are multiple assignment statements here for Z. There is Z equal to Y, Z equal to C plus 45, and then finally uh, X minus Z. Now, the compiler is smart enough to know that this is actually not, uh, uh, we will see how the compiler optimizes in the actual disassembly code. The first point of live variable analysis is to use a temporary variable, which is in register rather than fetching every time from the memory. So here is the main program, which has three static variables, x, y, and z, initialized to 0, 1, and 2. You can see in the watch window this x, y, z with initial values 0, 1, and 2. And they are at location uh, 2000 hex uh, 0, 0, 0, 4, and 8. And their type is integers. Then you have the assignment statements. Now here the pointer P is initialized to address of the static variable x. So P is an alias for x. As you can see in the code, only star p is used, uh, x itself is not used. Now, this is disassembly code. First thing is that this computation 4 times j is done. So z, z equal to y is not done yet. So it is one of the optimization techniques is reordering of instructions uh, within a short uh, sequence of code or short block of code. Uh, 
this is to improve the register usage. So the compiler has done this. It is not computed this assignment z equal to y, but it has gone to the next one, which is uh, alias for x equal to 4 times 123. And that it does in an interesting way by uh, not using a multiplication operation, but by loading the value 246 and multiplying it by 2 using the logical sh uh, shift of op left operation. Now, the value is whatever 492. If we execute, we can see that it will be stored in the well, in the address uh, pointed to by R0. Let's just execute that. So you can see the value variable x now showing value 492. Now it's subtracting 45 from this variable which is star p that is corresponding to this operation. Interestingly, it did not do an addition z equal to z plus 45. It did not do that. Instead, it is directly optimizing this sub, sub expression. So star p minus z if you are subtract, so there will be subtracting by 45. And it has not done this z equal to y. So actually, if you see unoptimized code, it would have loaded z equal to 1. Then it would have computed 46 and then it will subtract 46. But the compiler here has not done this assignment 1. It is subtracting this 45 and <coughs> basically it is eliminating sub expressions here. So now you can see that it has subtracted 46 from 492 and stores it in. Uh, so this store operation is storing it in address 200008, which is nothing but Z. So multiple things going on here. One, there is a common, uh, so there is a constant uh, uh, for, you know, computation here, followed by uh, the aliasing, followed by reordering of instruction sequence, and then common sub expression elimination by computing this subtraction <clears throat> and storing that z value only the final uh, stage. So there is no load and store operations except for the initial load and then the final store here. So this is basically the concept of live variable analysis. So if the whole thing is centered around the avoiding the load and store operations as much as possible reordering the the uh, reordering the uh, sequence of uh, execution and uh, therefore to not disturb the registers and in the process also common sub expression elimination